welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, one of the network analysis or circuit analysis theorem it is called as a reciprocity theorem so in previous uh, so previously we discussed uh, one theorem it is called as a uh, superposition theorem and related problem we discussed so similar to that uh, so one more theorem we are going to see it is a reciprocity theorem so what is reciprocity theorem means uh, this reciprocity theorem states that in a linear bilateral single source circuit okay so this theorem is valid for linear circuit linear network bilateral network as well as it is valid only for single source circuit single source circuit means in that circuit uh, that has only one source either voltage source or current source okay so for that single source circuit only we have to apply this reciprocity theorem but uh, superposition theorem is applied for the circuit consisting of two or more sources means the superposition theorem is valid but uh, this reciprocity theorem is applied only for the single source circuit that means the circuit consisting of only one source okay so uh, single source circuit the ratio of excitation to response is constant when the position of excitation and the response are interchanged okay this is said to be reciprocity so what is the meaning means uh, the ratio of excitation to response excitation means input okay uh, input the other name of uh, input applied to that circuit it is called as excitation response is said to be output so the ratio of uh, input are uh, divided by output okay so the ratio of input divided by output is always constant when the position of input and the response are interchanged in that particular circuit okay that is called as a reciprocity that means so you take example you take uh, an example this diagram so in this circuit uh, this is the voltage source okay so this is the single source uh, because of this voltage source we are calculating current flowing in this branch that current is high okay so due to this voltage source Uh, uh, uh the voltage in this branch so there are some current is flowing through this resistor this resistor and this resistor and uh, so because of that some current is flowing in this branch so you let us take it as a i okay so here the excitation is v the input applied to the circuit is this v and what is the response means so the output the current flowing in this branch it is said to be the i so the ratio v divided by i it is equal to constant and it remains same whenever the input and this response is interchanged so you see the second diagram in second diagram uh, the input this voltage source v is applied in the place of uh, where we are taking current you know that place okay so you see the second diagram here we are applying input here we are taking we are measuring the current okay so in this branch we are measuring the current using one ammeter so at the time also for the same circuit when we are interchanging the input and output uh, again we are getting some current you know you see here we are getting some current because of this voltage at the time if you are measuring the ratio this v divided by i this v divided by i is always equal to this v divided by i for this first diagram means the reciprocity theorem is verified okay so this is said to be the reciprocity theorem if you are interchanging the input and output in a particular circuit so the ratio of uh, the input divided by i output is always constant if you are interchanging the input output in the second diagram so this is said to be the reciprocity theorem so you see the uh, definition so this is the important two mark question definition the reciprocity theorem states that in a linear bilateral single source circuit this is important okay so this reciprocity theorem is uh, applicable only for linear uh, linear bilateral circuit and a single source circuit okay if uh, uh, two or uh, three sources are connected in that uh, circuit means it is not possible to verify this reciprocity theorem that circuit compulsory consists of single source circuit okay in that circuit the ratio of excitation to response is constant okay this is important the ratio of input to output is constant when the position of input and output is interchanged excitation means input response means output okay this is said to be the reciprocity theorem 
okay this is explained here uh, in a linear bilateral network a voltage source v volt in a branch gives rise to current i in another branch okay so in this diagram we are giving voltage source in one branch because of this voltage source v there is some current i is flowing in the another one branch okay and uh, if the ratio you just consider as a v by i then in the next time uh, we are exchanging this voltage source and the current uh, in the first branch and second branch at the time we are measuring the ratio v by i this two v by i ratios are equal means the reciprocity theorem is verified okay and you see this one also the same thing you are considering one network this is the input applied this is the output taken so because of this input what is the current you just measure so from that uh, uh, you just find the value v by i in the next thing we are interchanging the input and output in the place of input we how to measure output in the place of output we how to give the input so you see the second diagram we are interchanging in that uh, uh, case also we are getting the same answer v by i means uh, this network is reciprocity theorem is verified okay this is a theorem and uh, what are the conditions to be met for the application of reciprocity theorem okay so that is uh, uh, for which type of circuit we can apply this reciprocity theorem means the first one the circuit must have a single source okay so already i told you know the circuit uh, consisting of only one source either voltage source or current source okay then uh, the initial conditions are assumed to be absent in the circuit okay so initial condition means uh, some previous uh, uh value stored in the circuit we are assuming it as a zero okay and the third one uh, dependent sources are excluded even if they are linear okay if some dependent sources are available means okay dependent voltage source dependent current sources uh, available in our given diagram means we have to exclude okay that is the important thing then the next one when the position of source and response are interchanged their directions should be marked same as in the original okay so if you are interchanging uh, this you see uh, this voltage source we interchanged in this branch this current we are measuring here okay so we have to don't change the direction so here the in voltage source plus minus means in this branch also in uh, top plus in bottom minus okay so we can't interchange the direction uh, direction of the particular input and source and response in the second diagram okay so this is said to be the reciprocity theorem so using this reciprocity theorem now we are going to solve one problem so you see the first uh, problem uh, verify the reciprocity theorem uh, in a circuit shown in the figure and calculate also calculate transfer resistance so what is transfer resistance means this ratio v divided by i okay the ratio v by i is called as a transfer resistance v means input voltage i is a current okay so for this circuit we are going to verify the reciprocity theorem so you see uh, in this case uh, so what is the source uh, 10 amps uh, current source is applicable okay so here the 10 amps current source is our uh, single source 3 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor 8 ohm resistor our aim is to measure this voltage v the voltage v is nothing but voltage across the 8 ohm resistor this is our output so voltage across this 8 ohm resistor is our output that means a response and this 10 amps uh, current source is a input so because of this 10 amps current source uh, voltage across this 8 ohm resistor is our output okay so we have to find uh, this ratio output by input this v divided by i it is called as a transfer resistance okay and also we have to verify the reciprocity theorem okay so according to reciprocity theorem so we have to do the two steps so in first step uh, because of this uh, input uh, what is the output obtained across this 10 ohm resistor we have to find out okay so what is the input here it's a current source okay so because of this current source and uh, what is the voltage across this 8 ohm resistor we have to find out so in order to find out that one so we may use anything uh, simply ohms law kvl or uh, current division theorem anything we can use okay so first one so the voltage across this 8 ohm resistor is nothing but you just take it as a v that v is nothing but the current flowing through this particular resistor 8 ohm okay so you just consider current flowing through this 8 ohm resistor as i8 multiplied with that particular resistance r okay 
then uh, uh, here you see this 10 amps current is flowing in this branch so here the total current is 10 amps okay so this 10 amps current is uh, divided into two branches okay so uh, in this 10 amps some of the current is flowing in this uh, 2 ohm resistor the remaining resist uh, remaining current is flowing in the 8 ohm resistor what is our aim our aim is to find out the current flowing through 8 ohm resistor so if you are calculating current only the current into resistance it is said to be the voltage okay so that's why so here uh, two parallel branch okay total current is given resistance is given our aim is to find out current in one branch so we may use current division law okay so according to current division law so according to current division law the current flowing through this 8 ohm resistor is nothing but total current so what is the total current flowing in this two branch 10 amps 10 amps multiplied with opposite resistance what is the opposite resistance for this 8 ohm resistor 2 ohm so 2 divided by addition of the two thing 2 plus 8 okay so if you are calculating we can get the answer is 2 amps so current flowing through this 8 ohm resistor we calculated it is a 2 amps okay so therefore our aim is to find out voltage across this 8 ohm resistor so therefore the voltage across a 8 ohm resistor is given by uh, i the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor into 8 okay so 2 into 8 16 volt okay so the output is calculated so you consider this is the equation number 1 so because of this 10 amps current source in a first branch uh, the voltage across this 8 ohm resistor we calculated as a 16 volt okay then uh, in order to verify the reciprocity theorem we have to follow step number two what is step number two we have to interchange the input and output okay so here which one is the input the current source is the input and uh, which one is the output voltage across the 8 ohm resistor is the output okay so you just interchange the input uh, this input branch you place in the output place you measure output in this uh, input branch okay so you see this a b across a b we are applying input in the first diagram so this input you just give it to this node c and d okay and we have to measure voltage in a and b so you just interchange input and uh, uh, input and output in the second step okay so if you are interchanging the input and output the 10 amps current source is appearing across this 8 ohm resistor and now we have to measure the voltage across this uh, uh, input side okay in input end a and b this is the second step so now uh, uh, that is a voltage across this a node and b node we have to find out so you see here so in this a node and b node so here one 3 ohm resistor is there but 3 ohm resistor this is not a closed loop okay so this is not a closed loop it is uh, this 3 ohm resistor one end is floating so that's why the current flowing through this uh, uh, loop is zero okay so there is uh, no there is no use of this 3 ohm resistor so you just neglect this 3 ohm resistor since it is not a closed path so in this close it is not a closed path so no current is flowing okay so that's why we discarded this 3 ohm resistor so the circuit now you see uh, like this okay so what is this v means this v is nothing but the voltage across this 2 ohm resistor okay so voltage across this node a and b it is nothing but since there is no current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor so the voltage across a and b is nothing but the voltage across this 2 ohm resistor okay so now you see so in order to find out voltage across this 2 ohm resistor so first we have to find out the current flowing through this parallel branch so you see here uh, here there is a one total current source is there and two branches are there okay so here our aim is to find voltage across this 2 ohm resistor okay so first we have to find out the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor so again you just use the voltage uh, current division principle so current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor is nothing but total current multiplied with opposite resistance 8 divided by the addition of two resistance so you may get 8 amps okay so therefore voltage across this 2 ohm resistor is nothing but the current flowing multiplied with the 2 ohm resistor so 8 into 2 16 volt okay so you see we can get the same answer 16 volt as that of the first step okay so in first step 
we are applying input here we are measuring uh, our response we are measuring response across the 8 ohm resistor we can get the same voltage 16 volt in second step we are interchanging the input and output in the diagram at the time also we can get the same output 16 volt okay so in both cases uh, the ratio of voltage to current is same okay so here you see what is the voltage 16 volt what is the current 10 so 16 divided by 10 1.6 Similarly, in first case also, output voltage is 16, input current is 10, so the ratio V by I is 1.6, okay. So, hence, the reciprocity theorem is verified, okay. And finally, they are asking transfer resistance. So, the transfer resistance is nothing but, it's a ratio of uh, voltage divided by current, okay. Output voltage divided by current. So, what is the output voltage here? 16. What is the current input current applied? 10. So, 16 divided by 10, it is a 1.6 ohms. Okay, so this is a uh, one type of uh, reciprocity theorem. Okay, so thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos. If you want to learn the remaining circuit analysis uh, lecture videos as well as uh, the two more problems, so all questions so available uh, in my channel in the two playlist. Okay, so in the name of circuit analysis, one playlist is that. So in that. Uh, all topic wise uh, big questions and all topics are explained so maximum i solved so many anna university problems okay in that uh, playlist and uh, in the circuit analysis uh, mcq playlist uh, related to all topic uh, the important uh, two more problems solved okay so maximum i solved from the anna university last 10 year question paper okay so please uh, use that one okay or uh, if you want to study i will give a link for the playlist in the description box you can refer it okay so thank you we will meet in the next video with one more problem for this reciprocity theorem